Hello shooters and airsofters. Now I'm gonna share to you how to set up the flex holster specifically for CZ Shadow 2. So let's get started. We're gonna make this reverse. So I'm gonna show to you how to disassemble it and I'm gonna show you how how I set up my flex holster. Before I share my setup to you, um, you can check the link below. I'm gonna make a review for this one. And also, if you have a different unit and you want to set it up, you can check the Double Alpha or Soul Kirsch video. He showed there how to set up this one. Now, we're gonna set it up specifically for Shadow. So, by the way guys, a disclaimer, still depends on your Shadow because not all pistols are 100% equal. So, you can just, you can base on this and you can do some fine tunings. Um, actually, me, I also saw this post at double alpha so i didn't have really hard time so at least this this time you have a visual so how you can do it it's on video okay so i already set it up so let's remove first the holster so if you want to remove the holster to its body you just need to here you just need to unscrew it here allen screw it's optional if you don't want to remove this one it's okay but me it's much easier to set it up. There you go. Once this one is loose, now you can slide it off. There you go. So that's only the housing and the insert block. So let me remove this first. Um, oopsie. Push this down. Oh, push this up. Okay. All right. So here it is. So to set it up first, if you your trigger guard, align it here. Both of these are uh, red. Uh, what you call this? Red block. There's this one holds the trigger guard. So you need to adjust the screws. Uh, it's already provided at the holster. So adjust this, so loosen it up, so you can move the screws. So me here is my setup. So I just loosen the screws and I'll move it as tight as possible. So this one, this one is already touching each other. For this one, for the Shadow 2, we're gonna use this B10.00, B10.00, and you need to use this film inserts or spacers. Um, usually, uh, you will put 3 to 4 or 5, it depends on your trigger guard. Uh, in Airsoft, it's also, it depends on the Airsoft. For the airsoft, I guess you don't need to put this film. But for this one, you need to put at least 3 or 4. Uh, check to your pistol. It depends on the pistol if you need a lot. So here. So to assemble it, it's easy. Insert this one. Oops, sorry. Before you insert this one, this one. Insert it here. There. And this one. Align this screw hole to this hole. There you go. So, they also provide a screw. I'm not gonna put it yet. I'm gonna test it before I put it. And also this one. There's also a screw. They, already, they also provide it. You can put it. But I'm still on the testing phase so I'm not gonna put it. So here is a, here's the holster. There you go. Now you can tighten this again. Tighten this thing up to go. So let's try it. Zero wiggle. Zero wiggle. It's really it's really nice fit. 
really nice fit. I like this fitment. It's a little tight. Nice, nice fitting. Here, I'm gonna remove the lock. No wiggle. Nice, tight fit. So that's it for my flex holster setup for Shadow 2. So I'm gonna make another review for this flex holster. So stand by guys, uh, maybe next week or this week. So I hope you like the video and I hope you learn something from it.